the Central African uh, state is now gone. Uh, the takeover of Seleka in March last year was the final push. Uh, already before uh, we, uh, we called the car a phantom state and uh, the, the state presence in the provinces was very thin. Uh, security forces were, uh, were basically a few policemen and a few military people living in towns. Uh, now all this is gone. Uh, there is no uh, education and uh, health care services uh, in the provinces. All the civil servants uh, left and, and fled back to the capital city and they are unpaid. So uh, the, the state in car is now uh, a souvenir. Uh, what you find in the provinces is basically the Catholic missions and the international forces that have started deploying. There is a complete uh, vacuum in, uh, in the provinces. Uh, this is filled by the, the militias. Uh, so the anti-Balaka militia on one side and on the other part of the country, the Seleka fighters. Uh, they are uh, basically uh, controlling some, uh, some cities and going wherever they want and doing also uh, whatever they want as long as they're not confronted by the international forces. So in several cities in the western part of the country, uh, the Muslim communities are actually trapped uh, in, uh, in, those, uh, in some camps or, or in the Catholic mission, for instance. They are surrounded uh, by the anti-Balaka militiamen and uh, if they are lucky, uh, they are under the protection of, uh, of some international forces and they receive uh, humanitarian uh, food, Human uh, they receive humanitarian assistance. Um, so this is a very, of course, this is a very uh, unsustainable situation for them. Uh, those Muslim communities uh, would prefer to leave uh, those cities uh, and uh, it's a dilemma for the uh, international uh, agencies that are operating there, uh, especially the humanitarian agencies who uh, are still hesitating uh, to provide them with uh, transport and security to uh, basically leave the western part of the country. The governments in Central African Republic uh, have a, a, quite an impressive record in terms of uh, bad economic governance. Uh, they managed to drove away uh, most of the investors. Uh, ten years ago there were about 250 foreign companies operating in Central Africa Republic. Uh, last year, I mean before, before the crisis, there, there were about 20 left. Uh, and there was only 10 years ago there were about uh, 10 mining companies prospecting in Central African Republic and in, in 2012 there was only one left and even this one has been looted and is now gone. Uh, so uh, they, they've never been, those governments have never been able to uh, develop the resources of uh, Central African Republic which are mainly uh, minerals uh, and also uh, timber. And agriculture also has been, uh, has been completely uh, neglected and the only uh, agriculture that is left is basically subsistence agriculture.